Hello everyone, welcome to An Academy. So as far as the agenda behind today's short video is being concerned, I am going to take the four to five number of numericals from engineering mathematics, which has been experienced by the mechanical people. So taking the help of this four number of numericals, at least the student who have been appearing in tomorrow's examination, that includes two branches, electrical and electronics, will also have a fair amount of idea which kind of the questions are being asked. Let's see what the problem states. The value of k that makes the complex variable function f of z that has been a complex function e to the power of minus kx cos of 2y minus of i sine of 2y is been analytic where the z is been x plus y i y is been so already you must have been seen this kind of problem as a part of Koichi Raman equation cr equation cr equation cr equation yes or no what we have to do over here if any of the complex function satisfies this two requirement ux is equals to vy and uy u y minus of vx so that becomes an analytic function so what we had to do we had to find it's a real function real part and the imaginary part you can see very well this has been the real part and this has been the imaginary part including e to the power of minus kx so what we will do we will take the partial differentiation of u with respect to the x so here it becomes partial differentiation of u with respect to the x that is been e to the power of minus kx into cos of 2y yes yes and similarly to a right hand side i am going to take the partial differentiation of its imaginary part that is been e to the power of minus kx into f sine of 2y anyways we also had to satisfy this requirement as well we also had to satisfy this requirement as well so here it becomes dou of dou y e to the power of minus kx into cos of 2y and same goes with same goes with this as well while satisfying this requirement you had to ensure the both of these equations are been satisfied and that is only been possible when the value of k is been fed as 2 so you can do the analysis by yourself just by doing its partial differentiation we have to compare its left hand side as well as right hand side the value which we have been getting here is been 2 this has been a problem of closed surface integration you can see very well here i had taken a closed surface integration of f dot ds here i have taken the closed surface integration of f dot ds where the f has been x i cap plus y j cap plus of 2 z k cap my dear friend, whenever you have been experiencing any kind of questions related to the closed surface integration, the first bet must be Gauss divergence theorem. So obviously, closed surface integration of f dot ds is simply going to be open volumetric integration of del dot f over dv over dv. And once you will take its divergence, now you yourself would be able to understand x is going to get differentiated with x. So obviously it becomes 1. Then goes, then goes, then goes. This is also been 1. And this has been minus 2. Once we will add them together, the result which we have been experiencing over here, it has been simply 0. It has been simply 0. So what is the conclusion which we can deduce out of it? What is the conclusion which we can deduce out of it? Obviously, the value is supposed to be 0. Any kind of closed surface integration, if it has been applied over a divergence-free vector, the result is supposed to be 0. Whether it has been any kind of closed surface, either it has been a sphere in nature, either it has been cylinder in nature, either it has been asymmetric in nature, but still, the answer is supposed to be very same. There would not be any change in answer as such. The answer is supposed to be very same. Answer is supposed to be very same. Did you understand what exactly I wanted to communicate over here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had a little bit idea about it. In the same sequence, this has been a problem which has been reducible to the linear differential equation with constant coefficient. with constant coefficient yes what we have to do in that case you just have to focus whether the d square y by dx square has been coming with the x square dy by of dx has been or i should say its order as well as the power of x must be matching even in that case obviously this can be easily reduced to the linear form of the differential equation what what we have to do over here the y has to be kept as e to the power of t and thereafter the x square d square y by of dx square could have been taken as d 
d minus of 1 and similarly so on and so forth once you have this you will be getting the characteristic equation you will be getting its general solution you will be feeding again y is equal to t to the power of t and now the two conditions which are been fed anyways the question is not been complete so i am not showing the exact answer but you can expect this kind of a question in future you can expect this kind of a question in near future probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow where you had a function you had a differential equation which has been linear in nature but the coefficients are in the function of x but is still they could have been converted in a form of constant coefficient all right so here it is been a next question problem based on the modula modulus function pick the figure shows the plot of a function over an interval of 4 minus 4 which one of the option given a correct identification of a function okay see what had been happening just try to understand in this way see. if you talk about this what i would do i would draw all of four so you'll have a better understanding see how the mod of x has been defined is yes sir mod of x has been defined something like this yes you had subtracted by 2 Once you subtract it by two, what will happen? Just minus means it will be flipped towards downside. Plus means it would be shifted upside. So here it would be the structure like this. Yes, it would be like this. It would be like this. Yes. And again, you had been taking the mod over here. And once you take the mod over here, what would happen at last? Obviously, this would become something like this. This is supposed to be the W over there. This is supposed to be the W over there. Two minus of x. Two minus of x. How it looks? See, once we feed x is equal to zero, at y axis the intersection point is going to be two. Yes, once we take y is equal to zero, once we take y is equal to zero, the intersection point at x is just been two. It's just been two. It has been like this. Once we take its modula, the function is going to be something like this. Same goes with the two plus mod of x. See how the two plus mod of x would look like, my dear friend. This has been mod of x. Once you have been added with two, definitely it would be raised by two. And now you have been taking modula, my dear friend. Either you have been taking modula, or you have not been taking modula. There would not be any impact because the complete function has been towards upside only. Same goes with this as well. Mod of x. How the mod of x would look? Obviously, it is going to be a V-shaped curve. Yes. And now it goes towards downside, and again will lift it by two. So this is going to be the structure over here. So may I know what had been the best most answer? A is supposed to be the best most answer. So this many four number of questions have been experienced by the mechanical people, and you can say the question quality was not that difficult. Yes, it has been moderate only. So this is all about today's video. Bye bye. Take care.